I heard what happened to Ekene, so I came to check up on him. Now you've seen him! Now leave! Nay, please. I came with some herbs to administer to him. Please allow me to administer these herbs to him so that you'll be fine. The right one should have been that you're here with some poison in your bag to kill him! But I will not let you. I will not let you! No, Nai. Just allow me to treat him. I don't have any bad intentions. I just want to administer my herbs to him. Please. Have you forgotten who you are? You are Obanje. And perhaps if you don't know the meaning of Obanje, Obanje won't you or Natakwa, or Mo, or Natakwa, who dies and come back to life again, dies and come back. You should have been dead five times now. And I wonder why you're still alive. Now, out of my compound. Allow me to treat him. If you touch this boy, what I'm going to do to you? Don't now, Get out of my compound! is at peace. She knew, but she willingly accepted because she wanted so badly to give you a child. Why? Why did you tell me she was going to be the price? it will have not make any difference. Nothing would change it. It was her destiny never to bring forth a life. And for a life to be given, another life must be taken. The transaction was clear. It is always life Life. Bring her. The daughter of Thunder. She has paid the price. She has come to stay. Them but for Banja. Take this. This cowries belongs to her. She will always wear it on her neck. Take good care of her. Because she's a gift from the gods. You can now.
was to what's a blessing with that child. What have I really done to deserve this punishment? What? Am I not so far in love? Am I not? <laughs> I have been more enough. Crying is not going to solve this problem. It is not going to give us a solution. Why have the gods chosen to punish us? We lost a third child after a season. What have we done? You pull, you pull libation to Kenga and Yochi every morning. Why would you allow our children to die after every five season? Why? Why would they die whenever they are five season old? We're going to stop. <laughs> stop. Stop. You see, we cannot question the gods. Of course, you and I knew. We cannot question the gods. All we have to do is to have faith. We just need to remain faithful to the gods. Yes. As for me, I have sworn to remain faithful to them. They are going to give us children. They will give us our own child. And they are going to give us a child that will stay. Please. I think Mama is right. I think I have the reason. I have the reason why Obanje is haunting us. I can't think of anything right now. Maybe you should just get married to another woman. A woman who will give you real children. Please. Mom, stop, stop, Please. stop, stop. Please, don't say this. I don't like it when you talk like this. What I've told you, to let me handle mama alone. Let me handle mama alone. I, I don't like it when you sound like this. What will I do? What do you want me to Ugo, do? Ugo, please. I want you to understand something. I cannot, I cannot love another woman. I cannot marry another woman. The gods is going to give us children. I want you to believe me. Listen, I promise you. Just go and fix your food. 
listen. Thank you for trusting and believing in me. Hey, now you are talking. <laughs> yeah? uh -huh. Yes, because you see, today at the farm, it was not easy. I had to put in all in all my energy. Yes, the grand was fighting me, and I was fighting back. <laughs> so please, your husband is hungry. Hmm? <laughs> the ground can fight all it wants. It can only defeat a lazy man. Uh -huh. <laughs> like Oji, the village <laughs> <laughs> Not a man of valor like my husband. <laughs> hmm. Now you are talking. That is my wife. I'll just go fix your food. Put yourself together. I will. Go. Go and get your food. <laughs> ah. <laughs> my beautiful wife. Get me water first. Okay, my husband. Can I moon make it? Can I own a no? Can I own an apple? Can I own an uncle? I feel I need to know. Go to Chile as a loo, eh? I come near my kind of cook and I chew look on the bass snag we use a guion. Boys that all over there. Hm? Like a malunzana one moon, you make one, or we honor a kind of honor, or no cage Liliana, eh? As one of Bellum Manzu, hm? Mona Ben Nambiano Cono Manzu. Udo Mano Cono Manzu. Ajana Ben Nadiano Cono Manzu. You can't get Manunzu, hm? Ogu Manunzu. Eh, Mona Melivan and Mona Melivano Cono Manzu, Nature will go, eh? I'm a boy, Colo. If you want to do that, I'm a dog. I'm a chum. What I say? Bono, I go bono. I go bono. This is my boy, Colo. Neke. No, yeah. Now for. Now I'm going. I don't mind can you cook no kuya. This is a new name. I don't know my name. Hey, Naji. You want to Naji? What the end do? What if I go ako? So no come to touch me, okay? Come to touch me, oye. Come to touch me now. Come to touch me now, boy. I've been on his now. Ana ma yo na ije be ka ije lu ana ba ka ina lu. Eh? No come no kili kili ka na abu kwa sa da lu kwa se nu. Eh? Kili kili ka na kili o de ji lo de ni ozu. Asi ma mu me bungu ma dina kwa na lianko. Bono gu bono kwa nu ni sim bungu abu kolo ne zu no nom. Hmm? I don't mind you looking your mom, okay? Your mom, why? Hmm? Your mom, you see, eh? In the back, Angel, in the back, and Nalu. John, I don't want John, I don't want the Wolfenu can work off and can wipe off and all that can work off and all that can wipe. More than eighteen or bar like a wolf, you can ask no age, but my dear, or bar on a low beer can be a beer alley. Hmm? As I'm going to toy, you know, yeah? Mwana na nam gulu ben nam kan neku as mono ta na oji. Hmm? Tata ya adela anya mma. Ibo ma ye mala ye tata. Eh? Ekwe mkwe si ike as na eh agi yuzo, agi yonu. Mboji tato lo wewe ulo tutu ya. Ta na oji neke. Ta na oji no ye. Ta mwa. Ta na oji na mkwa. Abe na ni izu na no. Ibo ma kaya neku oku ya. Hmm. I don't like a name, you can get a name, you know. Eh? Who do you know? Can 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 you Can you know? Oh, one nan 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 mova de well, can name me. Hm? I believe all jaw. As a moon of buco, one I connect with evil a mem. Hm? One I connect with evil a mem. Hm? While on a moza, a boza nadero. 
Ebenda da jalo mwenso wa ino ne wa ya tulugo. This one you came to my house this early in the morning. I, I hope all is well. How can all be well? Okoro, how can all be well? I came to remind you, in case you've forgotten, that you are you are late father's only son. But mama, I, I know about this. Is that what you come all this way just to remind me about? It's not enough, Okuya. Okay, all the ma. It's good you remembered. I said it's good you remembered. I also came to tell you that it's high time you start making children. I mean, real children, not that Obanje, not those Obanje children that you are so-called wife or what? What am I going to call herself? Used to produce for you. I mean, real children that will succeed you. Okoro, who will succeed you when your strength might have gone? Okoro, do you want us to lose our Obu? Okoro, you need to have hair in this house. Mama, I have told you, do not worry yourself. The gods will bless me with children. The gods are going to give me children when they see it fit for me to have children. Please. Okoro, three times she kept coming. The second time she came, I made sure I put a scar on her. And she still came back with the scar. And you refused to do anything. Okoro, get a wife that will bear you children. Mama. I mean you need children, not those of Banje that your God-forsaken wife used to produce for you. Mama, I love my wife. I love my wife. That's all you have to say. You love your wife. As for you. Mother is not even helping at all. She has become a bird that never stops singing my problems to my ear. What do I do? Um, I understand, Okoro, but you see, your mother is just doing what any caring mother would do. Yes, the problem here is just that she might not be doing it the right way. Afonwa. Afonwa. There is no caring mother that will make her son's life a misery just because she wants a grandchild. Okoro, any caring mother would do the same thing your mother is doing. <sighs> yes. You know women, women, they do anything to get what they want. And your mother is desperate. You are your father's only child. And she needs grandchildren. She does. So you can't blame her for whatever she does. But. Okoro, I want to ask. You said your mother left a scar on the child and she came back with the same scar. Yes. She came back with the same scar on the same spot, very close to her ear. Here. And... Okoro, then it is obvious that she's an Obanje. What? Yes, she's an Obanje who has come to torment you and your wife. Only an Obanje comes over and over again. With the same scar, that means it's, the same, it's just the same child coming over and over again. Afumwa, hmm? 
But why would the gods allow an Obanje to torment me? Why? Have I not been faithful to them? Have I not fed my chi regularly like I should? Um, Okoro, I know our people believe that Obanjes are evil children. But my father told me something some time ago. He said that sometimes Obanjes are just special children who come to life for special purposes. But Ekwensu will always try to terminate their life when they are young. But they never give up. They keep coming again and again. And this might just be your case. Afuma, my friend, what do I do? What do I do? If that is the case, what do I do? Um, Okoro, some things are above us. Yes, this particular issue is above us. So I think we should just seek the counsel of Ezemo and also sacrifice to Ikenga and um, Yochi. But first, we should seek the counsel of the Ezemo. Counsel of the Ezemo? Yes. Fine. Anything. Just uh, anything I, I can do so that the child will come and stay. Don't take Mama's words to the heart. Don't let it bother you. The most important thing here is that I love you. Yes, I love you. And I cannot do without you. Having you by my side, you are going to bear us children. What if Mama is right? What if I'm the cause of our childlessness? That's not true. Please, that's not true. Listen, we are not barren. Yes, we are not barren. All we have to do is to find a way to make our child stay. To make our child survive. That is all I think we, we just have to do. Do you think she will ever come again? Come again? How do you mean, come again? Hugo, are you with a child? Are you with a child? May the God's name be praised. He said. May the God's name be praised. He said. The gods. The gods. The gods. They are not asleep. <laughs> My love, this one will stay. <laughs> we'll go. This one is going to stay. I am going to pour libations. I will make sacrifices to Ikenga. My chi, they will make this one to stay. I promise you. <laughs> May the God's name be praised. I'm so happy. Come. <laughs> huh? May the God's name be praised. It's okay. It's okay. is not known for his strength or valor. 
but his skills with the Oja is something very special and unique. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Afonwa, you can mm. say that again. <laughs> yes, no one does it better. As of a matter course. of fact, Ofodile had lost his strength. Yes, he came back, threw him to the ground. Yeah, before the sound of Oja came up and restored his strength. <laughs> uh, Okoro, it was obvious I for saw everybody it. to see. I saw it. Everybody could see how mm. the useless village rant saved us the shame of losing another wrestling contest to Ajani this season. Even the gods would have been angry at us if we had lost to Ajani again this season. I heard that there is a promise to pay workers to farm in Oji's farmland next season just to show a gratitude for his great skills. <laughs> he deserves it. All of us know how useless he is with the whole. He deserves it. <laughs> but, Okoro, yes. we know how useless Oji is with the whole. Mm. But now we can see how useful he is with his Oja. Honestly. My friend, mm. nobody is truly useless. You are right. <laughs> Afonwa, nobody right. is really useless. Yes, no one. Afonwa, I want to offer sacrifices to Igenga and my chick tomorrow for the sake of my unborn child. Hmm? So that this one will come and stay and also survive. Um, Okoro, you really need to. You and Dugoma have really suffered enough. We have suffered enough. I believe the gods will not let us down this time. They will not. They need to repay your faithfulness. They have to. They need to. And I believe both of you will smile this time. Yes. If the gods will. Us. Yes. They have to. They have to. In fact, I want to go to our market and buy a very big bow for the sacrifices. Yes, because the ones I have here are very small, you know. I want to give my king and my chick a very big foul. Okoro, my friend. Afonwa. Uh, uh, but Okoro, mm -hmm. while going to the Afo to buy the big foul, let us not forget to stop by Okoronta's house and tell him to prepare fresh pan wine yes. for the event tomorrow. Yes, you are right. A fresh one. Yes, uh, pan wine is very important. In fact, yeah. Mm. I, I, we don't need to waste time. Mm. I have to. Uh, all should be done now, except if you will escort me. What am I doing? Let us be on our way then. Uh, wait, okay. Uh, yeah? Ugoma! My husband! Uh -huh. uh, I am leaving to the market, eh? Uh, for market. Uh, I'll be back soon. Oh. Uh, let us go. Let us go. Let us go. Eh, hey, hey, yeah. Ugo, ma. My husband. Come on, carry this thing inside. Let's go. Okay. Let's go. I've made sacrifices to my Ikenga, to my Chi, and they still allow me to suffer. Why? Why? Okay. They have taken the child from me again. They have taken my child away from me. Okoro. Okoro. 
there are questions that we cannot answer. There are questions that only the gods can give us answers to them. We cannot question the gods, Sokoro. We cannot even curse them. They own us and they do with us as they will. So, my suffering pleased them. Eh? Have I not been faithful to them? Have I not been faithful to them? We've tried. We've tried for many seasons. We've tried for many years. Just all our efforts, all our suffering, for vain, without any result. Okuru, I understand your pain. I understand how you feel. I do not have words that can suit your soul, Okuru. But what I want to tell you is do not lose faith in the gods. Your chi is a brave one, just like you, my friend. And he is going to speak on your behalf. Just have faith. Have a when? When? We've tried for many seasons. Look at my wife, Ugoma. 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 Ugoma goes to the pain of labor. Only to mourn a dead child. What pain could be greater than this? Mourning a dead child for several seasons. What pain? What pain? What pain will be greater than this? Hi! What have I done? Why do you keep punishing me? Why do I get punished every Why? 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 Please! Please have mercy on me! Have mercy on me, please! I am tired of this suffering and punishment! Why? Can you please have mercy on me? Have mercy on me! It's been six months since your last child died. Mom, what do you plan to do? Is it not yet time you listen to my advice? 
and take another wife. Okoro, take another wife that will bear you a child. Mama, we still have time to have children. Yes, we still have a lot of time to have children. And I believe the gods, we will. Just, just, Mama, just let me be. Okoro, we had to force you to marry Ellie because you are your father's only son. You know what that means. You started family early. But your, your mates are far ahead of you. Your mates have gone far. They have so many children. And you are yet to have one. Okoro, rethink! Mama. I am going to give you grandchildren. When? Okoro, when? Soon. Mama, I'm going to give you grandchildren very soon. Mama, please. I love my wife. Yes, I love my wife. I cannot love any other woman. We are going to give you grandchildren just very soon, Mama, please. And what if she's not able to do that? Okoro, what will happen? Okoro, your obu will be empty. Okoro, nobody will succeed you. Hey! <sighs> My wife will give you grandchildren and she is going to give mm. me children. Mm. And I believe the gods. Mm. The gods has never forsaken me. Mm. Yes. You have cried enough. Huh? You should be tired of crying by now. I spoke with Ezem more. I told him about our predicaments. And he said that we should pour sacrifice to the deity of Ogogo. That is going to help us remove the eyes of the Obanje from our home. Have we not sacrificed enough? Have we not? I know we have. I know we have done a lot of sacrifices. But we cannot stop. As long as I have strength in me, I shall continue to pour sacrifices. Yes, until I get we get what we want. We cannot stop. I am tired of all these sacrifices. I think we should try something new. I think we should try something else, my love. Something else. What, what do you want us to do? My mother, my mother always told me about this great Ezedibia in Okmuno. I think we should, I think we should visit him. Great Ezedibia. <laughs> you want us to see him? Do we have another choice? Do we have a choice? <laughs> I think we should visit him. Maybe he can be of help to us. Maybe, maybe he'll be able to help us. 
Okay. Fine. We shall see him then. Listen. Okay. We're gone. We're gone. Stop crying. Please. We are going to see him. Okay? But don't tell anybody. First light tomorrow morning. First light tomorrow morning. Who can see him? Inugo, please put yourself together. You have cried enough. Please. Greetings, great Divya of Obuno. Greetings, son of the sky. Okolo, son of Abalanza. Welcome. Now, how do you know me? Ogoma, daughter of Didekene. All your questions will be answered. If only you'll be patient enough. Welcome. Sit down. Yeah! Oh, oh. I'm gonna watch. She keeps coming. Yes. But she has refused to stay. She keeps coming. That is what you want. You are desperate. You are desperate to come back. Because you want a child of your own. The great one. How do you know all these things? I am Ezofufe, the servant of Amadia, the high priest. I know things. Ugoma, you are not destined to have a child. But she keeps coming to wipe away your tears. But they will not allow her to stay. But because of your destiny, Great one, please. What do you mean by she's here? The child is with your wife. <laughs> uh, it's okay. The great one. 
please, I love my wife. And I want her to be with me and bear me a child. What do we do? How do we make her to stay? Do you want her to stay? Yes, the great one. Please, save my child for me. this across your chest every night before you sleep until she delivers the child and when bringing back the child to me you come back with the clothes can go thank you the great one thank you we shall take our leave now to bring back this clothes when the child is sick. Thank you, the great one. Saying, I said I want to see my wife. What are you saying? She's dead.
she is at peace. She knew, but she willingly accepted. Because she wanted so badly to give you a child. Why? It's okay. Why did you tell me she was going to be the price? It would have not make any difference. Nothing would change it. It was her destiny never to bring forth a life. And for a life to be given, another life must be taken. The transaction was clear. It is always life for life. Bring her. The daughter of thunder. She has paid the price. She has come to stay. She will be called no any other name but Obanje. Take this. This cowries belongs to her. She will always wear it on her neck. Take good care of her. Because she's a gift from the gods. You can now go.
My husband. Yes. <sighs> How is Obanje my daughter doing? She's asleep. But my husband, she worry too much. Hmm? It's just normal fever every child have during their age. Don't worry, she's going to be fine. Hmm? See, Obanje is all I have. She is everything to me. I don't want to lose her. I cannot allow anything to happen to her. I know. Hmm? Don't worry, she's going to be fine. Trust me. You see, uh, normal. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I am so happy the way you are taking good care of Obanje, my daughter. Okay? I'm very grateful. Thank you very much. <laughs> She's my child now. And you are my husband. So, why are you thanking me for doing my job? It's okay. It's okay. Uh, you see, uh, Obanje is. But, Mama, how could Unoma lay such complaints to you? Yes. Why would she say such to you? Am I not trying my best? Of course I know, I am trying my best to provide for her and also for my daughter. Okoro, if she complains, that means you've not done enough now. Oh! Yes, now. Are you not my son? I know you very well. I know you better than every other person. You only cared for that, your one daughter. Uh -huh. She's the only person you cared for. Just the same way you cared for her late mother. Oh, Mama. Please. Don't. Don't go there. Don't just try to remind me of my past. I am trying so much hard to survive without her. Please don't go there. Don't go there. Okolo, like I said. The earlier you, bet you forget about her, the better for you. Love your wife, Okoro. Is it too much for me to ask? Okoro, love your wife! Mama, please. I love Norma. And I also love my daughter, Obanje. Why, 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 why would she even complain at the first place? Am I not trying my best to make sure I take care of both of them? Is it until I kill myself that you will know that I am trying my best? She complains to me as a woman and I understand her perfectly. Yes, I understand her. Okoro, I mend your ways. Try as much as you can to bring peace in your home. Love your wife. I'm so happy for you, now that you are with a child. At least the husband will shift his attention from that obanjo of a child and focus on you. My sister, I really wish that was the case. All he cares about is obanje. He doesn't care about any other person. How I wish he can shift his attention to I and my unborn children. Are you saying Okoro still care for that witch, even when he knows you are with his child? He does not even look at me. 
All he cares about is Obwanje. Obwanje is Obwanje that. I said she's the only person in this world. <clears throat> then you have to do something about it. Now that she's still a baby. <sighs> what can I do, my friend? Anytime I talk about her, he's always angry and shuns me. <clears throat> if you allow this to continue, when this child grows up, she will rule your home. Terminate that witch now. Now that she's still a baby. <sighs> what do I do, my friend? What? If anything happens to Obwanje, my husband will kill me. That's only if he knows. How is that possible? That's very simple. She will just fall sick and die. Everyone will think she died the way she always does. I don't have access to such powerful herbs. <laughs> don't worry, I'll get them for you. Are you sure about this? Of course. That's if you wish to secure your husband and secure a home for your children. You must not relent, my friend. <sighs> then I must do what I must do to secure my family. Let's go. today ah, ah, very well in fact <laughs> my farm i mean my barn mm -hmm. will be filled with enough yam this season <laughs> yes so mm -hmm. because my yam is growing very fast and easy yes with broad leaves and you know what that means the wider the leaves the bigger the yam in the ground. <laughs> <laughs> May the gods be praised. He said, God bless those who are hard working. Yes, my wife. <laughs> he said, May the gods <laughs> name be praised. He <laughs> said, <laughs> uh, It seems you've not heard because your brother looks so happy. What happened? Uh, you've not heard about the. Uh, your friend, Ekedemuma. Ekedemuma? What about her? Ah ah. Ekedemuma dead body was found on the road path this morning. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you mean you've not heard? Chibo! Hey! What happened? How? I don't know. My wife, I don't know. But you know, some people are saying that uh, uh, she poisoned herself. Yes, she poisoned herself because uh, they, they, they found the uh, uh, the famous ajog poison. The famous ajog was slow poison on her hands, <laughs> and that means that she poisoned herself. <laughs> that is it. <sighs> May her soul rest in peace. May her soul rest in peace. Mm. Uh, so, what about my daughter, Obanje? Oh, she's inside. Eh, uh, how is she doing? She's fine. She's <laughs> fine. I hope she's fine. Yes, I even felt that way. She's inside. Uh, uh, so please, uh, be fast. Uh, okay, uh, be fast. Get me water to drink. Oh, yeah. Okay. I I really stressed myself. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. Yes,
Obanji. Didn't you hear my voice? Didn't you hear me calling you? No, I didn't hear you. Obanji. May the gods make you permanently deaf and dumb since you want to become one. Chupuajo. No, the gods do not answer such prayers. Hmm. Mouthpiece of the gods. You are now the one telling them prayers to answer and the one not to answer. I don't blame you. Hmm? You will not kill me like you killed your mother. You will not succeed. Will you go inside there, take at last, go to the forest and get me firewood? But Nne, Ozone has done nothing in this house. Why am I the one to go to the bush and fetch firewood? Thunder strike you with that mouth you used to call my son. Uzondi will die for you. Eh? Uzondi is your maid. Go and go and get me firewood. I don't want to say it again. Uzondi is in the house. Uzondi is now your maid. No, this is not fair. This is not fair. Every time I'm the only one that is doing the choice in this house. It's not fair. Uzondi will just relax in the house. I'll be the one to go and fetch firewood. Uh -uh. Why are you complaining now, Banji? that she's speaking. So you don't know how powerful her herbs are? What are you even talking about? Nobody in this village wants to associate with her for the fear of being haunted by the Ogbanje spirit just like she haunted her own parents. That is where you are wrong, my brother. Her herbs has healed so many people in our community. See, the people go to her under the cover of the night and during the day they act as if she's evil. Are you sure of what you are saying? I do not guess. My mother was the one who personally went to her to collect help that he would he came by a warlord when he was sick. If not, he would have been a dead man. And she still gives her help and medicine freely. I believe she just wants to be accepted by the community. But nobody goes close to her due to the fear of her Ubanje spirit. Let's go. Is Obanja and your mother? Uh, Mama is in the kitchen and Obanja went to get some firewood. Mama is in the kitchen. Yes, papa. Obanja went to get firewood. Yes, Papa. And what are you doing at home? Uh, papa, I, wa I, I was. Yes. Who's on door? Papa. Go and get me your mother. Okay, Papa. You are back. Welcome. You sent for me. No, ma. Where is Obanje? Where did you send her? Oh, Obanje. I sent her to the bush to get firewood. 
and uh, oh Zondu, what is he doing at home? Zondu, Zondu was busy. She, he was doing something when I sent to Abanje to get firewood. You mean you sent my daughter, only her, to go and fetch firewood while you Zondu sitting at home doing nothing? No, man. Let me remind you. Uh, Owandia is the only daughter I have. You cannot maltreat my uh, daughter in her own father's house. Uh, I don't want to see this or hear it again in this house. In fact, let me tell you. Uzondu should be the one going to the bush in search of firewood. Not Owandia. I don't want to hear it again. Nay. So, it's now no Zondo that you want to turn to a slave in his own father's house. Because of that, your evil daughter, Banje. I always knew that that girl would end up being a thorn on my flesh. But it will not work. She will not succeed. My, it's my son that, that will now turn to Banje's slave. Yes. Well, just I'll, go and get me my friend. I will not share my husband's affection with Banje. I don't know who that girl is evil or Why are you so different? <laughs> are you not scared of me? Scared? Yes. Are you not scared that an Obanje might haunt you when you get married? Oh, please. Come on. That is what the community thinks. Not me. They can't see me think such nonsense. Look, they can continue deceiving themselves, running back to the vomit in the cover of the night. Look, I can't do any of that. I'm even surprised. I keep wondering, why do you still accept to help them? I hope that someday they realize that I am not harmful to them. I am only here to heal in every possible way I can. And if I should reach out to heal them, then what's the need of my herbs and my powers? I understand. I understand. But don't worry. I promise you, I'll keep talking to my father. You know he is the Enze and whatever he says goes. I'm sure that if my father accepts you as the community healer, then every other person in this village will do the same. So, I'll just keep talking to him. Ekene, you don't need to worry yourself about that. Your father will never accept me. The Enze I know will never accept me. Don't worry. Everything will happen in its own season. Oh. So just be at rest. Oh. You want parables. Why do you like speaking in parables? <laughs> I guess it's one of the reasons why I love you. <laughs> yeah, I, I love it actually. <laughs> <laughs> um, but Ekene, this is not good for you. People will complain. Your father will never accept me. So I just feel it's best to stop seeing me for your own good. Let them complain. For me, this is good for me. Look, the community can keep rejecting me. I don't care. As long as you accept me, <laughs> then that, that's all I need. I'm good. <laughs> Trust me, I, I, I am here for you, okay? I don't care about what these people think. Just please, just, just be here. Are you sure about that? Yes, I'm sure.
Linda, where are you coming from? I, I went to see my friend. Went to see your friend. Again, eh? Nde ba ese na obo nu de ne ba nu na ndi bu aka atachagwa. Get your seat. Come and sit down. I want to talk to you. I hope there is no problem now. No problem. Now, uh, can I, why have you decided not to heed to my warning? I've been warning you concerning that of one Jagger, but you've not listened. Huh? I've told you her story and why everybody in this community is running away from her. Why they are scared of her. Huh? Look, can I, I don't want anything to happen to you. Look, 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 Papa. There is nothing wrong with her. There is nothing. She has done nothing wrong. I know her. She's just like every other normal person in this community. Can I? She's not. She's not. You see, you've been deceived. You are among the persons she has deceived in this community to believe that she's a she's a normal person. She is not. Papa. Hmm? Just look at it. Huh? You are my only son, and I don't want anything to happen to you. She's an Obanje, and nobody wants to be haunted by an Obanje in his lifetime. Eh? Everybody in this village and beyond knows her to be an Obanje. She even killed her mother on her fourth bed. Perhaps that's the reason she decided to stay, stay alive. Eh? Because she has killed the innocent woman. Okay. Look, you're my only son. I don't want anything to happen to you. Stay away from her. But, Nam, if she's that evil, then why has she been the one who has healed people of their strange illness? Yes, she has saved these villagers from, from, from numerous diseases. Even those that, that reject her, she has helped them. Even though they come to her at night, she still accepts them and healed them. So, so what, what is this? Papa, that girl is not evil. She has a good heart, Nam. And you have to understand this. Hey, Look at the way you are sounding. I wish you were the one sitting here listening to yourself talk. Eh? So you've joined the queue of the people she has deceived. She has deceived you to believe that she's not evil. That she's a normal human being. That she's helping people, healing diseases. Listen, when evil visits a man, it goes with a stool in case he's not given a seat. Ekene, Ekene, you are my only son, and I don't want anything to happen to you. Stay away from Obanje, Obanje where I got you. Can I tell you, Obanje? Have you gotten the firewood I asked you to fetch for me? No, no. I went to the forest to get some herbs. Herbs? You mean you went to the bush and came back empty-handed, without firewood? What do you Father said I should not be going to the forest ever again to fetch firewood. Inukwa. Obanje, you now disobey my orders in this house, eh? Eh, Obanje? Ne. Ozondo can go to the forest and fetch firewood. I want to go to the stream and fetch water. Eh. You are now my mother, eh? While I am your daughter. We shall see. You see where that firewood is inside that bush? That is where your own plate of food is kept. Anytime you bring home the firewood, that is the time you will eat in my house. We shall see. see if I talk, you talk. Nope. I will not disobey father in this house. 
I can escort us on the to go to the forest and fetch firewood. If father should find out that I go to the forest, he's going to be angry. Eh? We shall see. We shall see. Anytime you bring back firewood to this house, that is when you will eat. We shall see to that. Come on, Sunday. You said you will escort me to the forest. Yes, I will. Okay, drop your violin. Be fast. Let's go. Why not listen to your father and stay away from Obanji? Everyone believes she is evil and the whole community cannot be wrong. The whole community is wrong this time around, Izuna. Yes. Look, I know Obanji. Obanji is, is good. Obanji is a lovely person. She has a good heart. She's pure. She's a nice person. And I love her. Okay? And there is nothing you say that can make me change my mind from loving her. You know you are the son of Dense. You know your father has lots of enemies since he became the leader of that council. His enemies might use this against him. What are you even talking about? What are you saying? This same this Obanji you are talking about killed your father when your father fell ill. And yet you reject her. Oji, when he fell down from the palm tree and broke his bones, Obanji cured him. And yet he still reject her. What is it? She has saved a lot of persons in this village. And yet you all reject her. What do you want? What do you want? I know the list is endless. I can't but we are scared. What are you scared of, Izuna? What are you scared of exactly? I don't understand. Are you scared of the fact that she's a gift from the gods? No, tell me what are you scared of? Look, I don't care if you are scared. As for me, I love her. And that's final. What do we do? The whole elders do not accept her. And we know just a little to change their decisions. I'm done. I, I, I can't do this. Ekene. Ekene, I, Ekene, come back now. Ekene. Now listen to me. I want this to sound as the very last warning I'm going to give to you. I want you to stay away from my son, Ekene. Is that clear? Whatever you have with him, let it just end now. I don't understand the night. You are speaking in parables. Good. Let me explain the parable to you. Ekene, I'm sure you know Ekene, my son, that you've been throwing yourself at. Good. I want whatever you have with him to end now. Is that clear? Now, my wife is late. Ekene and the sister are the only people I have. Now, I don't want to see you anywhere around him because I am not going to bless that union. Nay. Nice. Ekene is my friend and the only person yes, that talks to Yes, that is me. what I am talking about. That friendship. That is what I want to end now. Yes. Any day I see you close to him again. Ngosigihoku. <laughs> Okay, This one you came to our house this afternoon. Did your father give you a message for us? Uh, uh, no, no, no. Um, I, actually, I came to see Obanji. 
Eh? Who? Oh, Ogwanji. Is, is she around? So it's true. What? The room I've been hearing now. The room I've been hearing in this community. <sighs> rumors. What rumors are you talking about, Nne? Hey. That you want to destroy your life. <sighs> How do you mean, Nne? Are you the only one in this community who does not know? That my stepdaughter Banje is cursed. Eh? That she is being haunted by the spirit of Banje. And anybody, man or woman, who associates him or herself with her will also be haunted by the same evil spirit of Banje. Do you want to kill yourself, Ekene? Eh? Ne. I do not know what you are talking about. Neither do I believe what you are saying. Ubanji has been a blessing to this village. Yes, she has saved these villagers from, from numerous illnesses. She has saved us from, from, from death without even asking for a price. Even when all of you reject her. Nne, I love Ubanji. Hey? Mm. Did you say again? I said I love Ubanji. And there is nothing you or your advice can do to change my mind. She has bewitched you. Good day, Nne. Hey, Good day. has bewitched you. Come, come, come on now. Hey! Obanje. Oh, na tata. Na fefe. Na abaku aba. What kind of evil child is this? Hey, Kenneth, nega no kwa no no. Ha! O wa yin be mefu o. This girl is really powerful. Hmm? She succeeded in everything. She said so. You go lose. Where are you coming from? Mama. Mama? Who's on? Mama. Where are you coming from? Ah, Mama, as you can see, you went to fetch your firewood. You went to fetch firewood. We too. With Obanje? Who's on do you left this house with Obanje? Who's on do why do you want to kill yourself? Do I have another chance? Why do you want to die on time? Why did you want to kill yourself because of Obanje? Mama, why are you saying this? I cannot. Obanje here is my sister. And we want to fetch firewood. Mama, what are you saying? Firewood will be get down. Are you a stranger in this community? Are you the only one that does not know that this stepsister of yours is bewitched, cursed? Mama. That she has evil spirit of Obanji after her. And anybody who associates with, he, with her will end up being haunted by the same evil spirit. Why do you want to kill yourself? Mama, stop. Why are you saying this, Mama? Mama, stop. Please, I don't like it. Stop. Hey! Who's on the... So you are not arguing with me, eh? You now talk back at me because of Obanji. It has gotten to the to this eh? Stop, stop. Hey! Mama, I don't like Mama, I don't like it. I don't like this, Mama. The ghost stop it. The ghost stop it. The ghost stop it. Mama, stop. Leave my son alone. Don't kill my son. I don't like this. Mama. I don't like you. I don't like you. I don't like you. I am not surprised. I am used to her hatred and rejection. Everyone rejects me, so why will she be different? Obanji, you've been through so much in such a short lifetime. And honestly, I am worried for you. But don't worry, because I am here for you. I know that I cannot do much to change anything, but I just want you to know that at least there is someone out there, me, who wants you. Your father warned me as well. I think you should listen to your father. I can't have you disobey the Inze because of me. I don't care about my father. I 
don't care about what anybody says. What I care about is me and you. What matters to me is what we feel for each other. What we say. That is what I care about and not any, 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 anybody. What if they are right? I bear a cost name. So how can I be of any good to anybody? Listen to me, Obanji. You are a blessing to this community. You have saved many lives. You, you're a gift. And very soon everyone will come to realize that you are a blessing to us. So stop, stop, stop thinking all these things. Stop saying this. I am here for you, okay? I'm already tired of all this. I just hope everything will end soon. Everything will be fine. It's okay. I'm here for you. I'm here for you. I'll never leave you alone. I don't understand it. In this community, nobody wants to associate with you. They don't want you around them. Yet, whenever they are sick, they come for your medicine. Why? Papa. Some questions can only be answered by the gods. We don't have answers to such questions as mere mortals. For many seasons, I asked the gods of my ancestors, Ikenga, to give me a child. They give me a blessing. I am happy. Hmm. Um. has dealt with me. I wish that your mother is here to see the kind of beauty she gave birth to. Ah, my daughter, you are a biggest blessing to the community. Whether they like it or not, you are a blessing to me. Hmm? Papa, I am only what the gods made me to be. The gods made me to hear and discern what this leaves. We kill. 
and that is all that matters. I will continue to help people in this community, whether they accept me or not. Maybe that is why the gods brought me here. My daughter, if that is the reason the gods of my ancestors give you to me, it's enough blessing to me and to the community. General. Let me leave you and be doing what you okay, are doing. Papa. so fond of you. You're all that fills my thoughts these days. Don't let your emotions run faster than your brain, Ekele. You know you do a dangerous thing. I do not care. I do not care. I don't. Look, my heart leads me to a dangerous place and I can't help but follow it like the sheep follows the shepherd. You are wise just like a father. And his wisdom has brought peace to this community since he became the head of the elders. And yet he faces many battles from his opponent. <laughs> you know many of the elders do not want him as their leader. Yes, I know. That's why you all need to be very careful. Especially you, his only son and heir. I know, I know, I know. Look, what happened to me, okay? Do not worry your pretty head. Thank you. Um, I need to go to the river bank now to get some house in my portion. Oh, really? Then I shall escort you. Okay. They will. They will not. No. No. I was just on my way. My daughter. Yes, ma'am. They warned me about you and his son. Last day came again day at the elders' meeting. Why do you want to put us in trouble? My dear, you know Nze very well. You know Nze is a powerful person in this community. Please, be very careful about him. No. It's not bad enough that nobody wants me around them in this community. How then do I reject the only person that is ready to be my friend, regardless of what people will think of it? <sighs> my daughter, I approve of you being his friend. I am happy about that. That he is the only person that wants to talk to you. That even come close to you. But you know his father will never approve of it. So you have to be very careful. You are the only thing left for me from your mother. I know that now. But I also need someone to talk to. I also deserve to be happy. Ekine is the only one that makes me happy. He's the only one that talks to me. Nam, please. My daughter, you are free to be his friend. Hmm? All I want you to do is for you to be very careful. You know I can't bear it. I lose you. Please, just be careful. I'm mean, worried too much. Nothing will happen to me. I promise you that. Nam, I need to go to the river bank now to get some herbs for my potion. Thank you, madam. Kabaro ke nata noge. It's a bad job. Thank you. Hmm. Thank you. 
for this new moon dance. Not just you, I also cannot wait. I plan to win the wrestling contest in the moon dance this time again. Hmm. Okay, that is good. It's, it's a good thing. But I think you should offer sacrifice to the gods. Yes, and to your chi. Because I heard um, Chima, Okima Chima. Chima has sworn to defeat you this time around. Oh, Chima. I threw his back on the ground before, and I will do it again, even in dreamland. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Izuna, there goes the pride that comes before a fall. You are now beginning to sound like Mwanza, the proud bird who challenged his cheat to a contest just because he ate so much. You better watch your back, oh. Don't worry. <clears throat> I will show you how well I practice. And how do you intend to do that? Like, uh... Hey! Yeah, what is it now? Isuna! Sorry, sorry. I was, I was just joking with you. Joking? Oh, 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 what kind of joke is that? It's okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You, you better go and, go and meet your fellow wrestlers and, and, and practice with them. Don't, don't, don't do that with me again. Nah, is it this small thing that I did to you? The, the, this is not small thing. You are broke small thing. Okay. Uh, have you met with uh, the son of Oji to practice a new song for the dance? Okay, so cool. I'm not actually. But I will go there this evening. But first, I need to go home first so I can tell my father before going to meet him. No problem. Ah! Ow! Ah! 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 Sorry, sorry, sorry. Ah. Stop shouting like a kid now. Are you, what are you saying? This is very pain. I know. The poison have already circulated through his blood. And he is very, very weak. But I have managed to stop the poison from crossing over to his heart. And I have also administered my most powerful anti poison to destroy the whole poison in his body. Nze. I will be on my way now. But I will be here at first light tomorrow morning. Oh, no problem. <laughs> 
Thank, Thank you. you very much. Eh? Thank you, Hila. I, I heard what happened to Ekene, so I came to check up on him. Now you've seen him! Now leave! Uh, Nai, please. I came with some herbs to administer to him. Please allow me to administer these herbs to him so that he'll be fine. The right one should have been that you're here with some poison in your bag to kill him! But I will not let you. I will not let you! No, Nai. Just allow me to treat him. I don't have any bad intentions. I just want to administer my herbs to him. Please. Have you forgotten who you are? You are Obanje! And perhaps if you don't know the meaning of Obanje, Obanje will only now on Natakwa, or more on Natakwa, who dies and come back to life again, dies and come back. You should have been dead five times now. And I wonder why you're still alive. Now, out of my compound. Allow me to treat him. If you touch this boy, what I'm going to do to you? Turn the name when one now, body Get out of my compound. Leave. Leave the compound. Leave the compound. Obanjo, Jo. Are you still here? You want me to bring my cutlass now and tear you into pieces? Will you get out of this compound? Go now. Um. Now. Now. Will you leave there before? My daughter, you have to calm down. There is nothing you can do about it. See, Elechi is the greatest herbalist in our village. And I believe that Elechi can take good care of Ekene. He will cure that snake bite. Hmm? Calm down, Ekene will be fine in no time. Please. No, no. It's not an ordinary snake. I can feel it. It was sent to him by its father's enemies. And if I don't administer any treatment to him, he's going to lose his life. <laughs> My daughter, are you sure of what you're saying? I'm very sure now. I said the very poisonous snake bite when I went to see him. Nam, please, help me and beg the Ize. I need to administer my herbs to him. And if I don't do that, Nam, we are going to lose again. I'm not going to lose again. I'm going to lose something. <laughs> My daughter, don't worry. I will talk to him. Hmm? I will talk to him. <laughs> Izuna, Izuna, please. I want to talk to you. Please. Nobody is going to see us. Just give me a listening ear. Please. Okay, Obanji. I know my friend loves you. What is it that you want to tell me? How is he? 
his father won't allow me to see him. He's not getting better. I went to see him in the morning. He's getting weaker by the day. And Elechi said the snake bite wasn't ordinary. His potions are not working on him. I know. I know it's not an ordinary snake. It's the spirit of death sent by his father's enemies. And if I don't add Mr. Hubs to him, he's going to lose his life. Please, Izuna, help me. Abaji, oh, I can't help you. That won't be possible. You know how strong-willed his father is. Okay. Um, let me give you the herbs to administer to him. At least, that will be much better. Eh? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I won't be able to do that. His father watches over him like a hawk. Then what are we going to do? I can't lose him. What are we going to do? Izuna, talk to me. What are we going to do? I don't want anything to happen to Ekene. Izuna. I am afraid. This is not ordinary poison. All my years as a healer, I have never seen a venom this powerful. And it is slowly eating me up. I have exhausted all my capabilities as a healer. And I am sorry, there is only but one option left. What is the option? What is the option? There is only one person that knows herbs better than I do. And only she can help your son. She has healed many people. Countless of them that I have lost counts. Only she is the option left here in Zen. Her name is Obanje. Obagene. I believe she is the only person that can heal your son. Obanje. Obanje Nabem. Adam, Obi near. Nze, Papa Kene, sent for you. He sent for me. Yes.
my son will recover from this sickness. The gods now have the answer. Now we wait. Thank you very much. Thank you for Thank healing you. my son. Thank you. I'm grateful. Uh, yeah. I, I, I don't know what to say now. I'm just, I'm so excited. Um, what you get, what do I give you in return for this? Is it? I want nothing in return. All I want is to be accepted among my people. And for my hands to be accepted to save lives. I want people to see that I'm not evil. But a young girl who the lips speaks to. Oh. Then consider it done. As a matter of fact, for this singular act that you've just done now, honestly, you've been accepted in the community, especially in my household. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you, Zay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh, <you're> excited. <laughs> yes. Mighty, I know you will never disappoint us. <laughs> <laughs>